Breaking news overnight, a possible assassination attempt playing out on live television. Look at this. The controversial president of Venezuela giving a speech when, according mm. to government officials, an attack is launched via drones carrying explosives. And you can actually see bodyguards rushing in to shield the president. Meanwhile, many of the soldiers breaking rank and running away. So many questions here. Was this really an assassination attempt or something else? ABC's Ariel Reshef is here with more. Ariel. Good morning, Eva. Chaos erupted on the streets of Venezuela as officials uh, say explosives suddenly dropped from the sky. The Venezuelan president believed to be the target this morning. The State Department warning U.S. citizens in the country to shelter in place. Overnight, dramatic video showing pandemonium as Venezuelan president Nicolas Maduro dodged an apparent assassination attempt. The South American leader and his wife wincing as they look to the sky. Audio on this live state broadcast going silent, the camera cutting away. On stage, his security detail quickly shielding the president from what Venezuelan officials say were explosives allegedly dropped from drones. Maduro was attending the 81st celebration of the Venezuelan National Guard. Soldiers seen breaking rank and scrambling amid the chaos. Maduro unharmed and defiant, addressing his country following the incident, saying this was an attempt to kill me. Today they attempted to assassinate me, placing blame squarely with the far-right opposition, also accusing neighboring Colombia of colluding, saying Colombian President Juan Santos was involved. Claims the Colombian government calls baseless. Maduro even saying he believes those who finance the attack are in Miami, and he hopes President Trump is willing to fight the terrorist groups. But the Associated Press reporting firefighters at the scene dispute the president's account, saying the incident was actually a gas tank explosion inside a nearby apartment. This comes at a time when the country has been rocked by anti-government protests, opposition groups blaming the president for chronic food and medicine shortages. And Venezuelan officials say several people were injured. The U.S. State Department is urging Americans not to travel to the country as it is under the second highest travel advisory. U.S. officials saying American citizens already in Venezuela should keep a low profile, avoid crowds, and guys, avoid demonstrations. Quite a scene. Very dangerous. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ariel. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.